So let me help you understand what exactly may have unfolded. Remember, this is a developing story. Investigation is still on. But here's the information we have right now. There are supposed to be these four lines. A loop line where the goods train was halted. The, there is a main line, a main line, and then a down loop line as well. On the loop line where the goods train had been halted, Coromandel Express was coming. It was supposed to get a green signal that it did get for the main line. But for some reason, according to the interlocking system, it had been put on the loop line. The green signal was to go straight, not stop at the station, and that is why at about 126 km per hour of speed, it straight went on thinking it is on the main line, but it was a head-on collision with the halted goods train. 21 coaches derailed all around this area. There was a third train that was coming from the opposite direction, which was the 128 uh, Yashwantpur Havda Express. That also did not get a signal to stop. It was also on its own speed. And it came charging, remember, while it was on its own main line, it did clash with the derailed coaches of the Coromandel Express and its last three bogies also derailed. Could, if that third uh, train had got a stop signal, more lives could have been saved. And importantly, this is being investigated now. How could an electronic interlocking system put a train on the loop line but give it a signal, a green one, for the main line. This is an investigation that's currently on. This is the report that for now has emerged. According to the minister, it is the change in the electronic interlocking system that led to this. 275 lives lost, many injured, many missing.